options. Conventionally authentic materials are those created by native speakers for native speakers. While Peppa Pig is originally in English, the dubbing is rendered for an Italian audience, with a speech rate suitable for preschool and primary school aged children. Indeed, the fast rate of speech in authentic materials may hinder comprehension, with an ideal rate between 100 and 150 words per minute. Short narratives with simple plots and familiar themes are less demanding in terms of attention span and background knowledge than longer videos such as movies. Watching cartoons may promote low effective filter environment considered conducive to a learner's motivation. Methods Students watched an episode of the cartoon in the classroom first without captions and then with captions. They were asked to note the words that they did not know and try to infer their meaning from context. They were then asked to provide feedback on the experience. <laughs> Students' feedback. I think the biggest part about Peppa Pig that helps is the context, seeing and hearing the context visually and audio is the biggest help in learning. It's so much easier to hear the characters use, for example, the past and imperfect tenses together than hearing that versus just reading bullet points out of a book. It's, it's much easier to recall that, those lines of dialogue than irrelevant bullet points in a textbook. Another big help is hearing the colloquial phrases used. Again, we can read them out of a textbook and memorize a list, but seeing the context and hearing the way they say it, the exact words they use for it, the specific times they use it, is much more helpful in learning. Because it is a children's show, it makes us laugh. And having the class laugh together is just another way of becoming friends, getting along, and sharing that laugh. It is really helpful in being more comfortable around each other to make mistakes, try new things and not feel shy or uncomfortable using these things around each other. One of the biggest parts of Peppa Pig is also the way we learn language. We don't, when we're children, we're not presented with a textbook and said, this is when you use this tense, this is exactly what this vocabulary word means. We learn it by hearing it and slowly starting to take part in it ourselves and seeing Peppa Pig in other cartoons as well. We see other characters, other dialogue, other exchanges and all these are imprinted in our brains and we can recall that even if we don't specifically remember it but we're recalling that all the time when we speak Italian ourselves. Uh, the captions in Peppa Pig is helpful because we have the option to turn them on and off. When we have them off we're focusing solely on the audio and we, re we rely completely on what they're saying and the images we see around them to hear it. That's helpful because we are f so focused on that that we automatically start retaining those things we hear and see and we start fitting pieces together by ourselves. But when we have the captions on, it's also helpful if we don't understand a word said, we don't know how it's spelled, we can't look it up later. And sometimes having those captions just to visually see that word kind of sticks it in the head more. And so depending on the situation, depending what's more difficult for people, we can have them on or off. We can watch them with them off and on and double the learning easily that way. Manuel. Peppa Pig to learn a language is incredibly effective. This is due to the fact that it simplifies the language to the point that it can be more easily retained. The way that basic things are said, which in turn are illustrated through the cartoon's actions, helps visualize exactly what they are trying to communicate. James. The simple and common themes addressed in a children's cartoon can easily be adapted among various cultures. It is no wonder that Peppa Pig has been translated into more than 30 languages. I would say, on average, I would take away somewhere between 5 to 10 new words per episode. Conclusions All students showed an active engagement in the activity, even those that generally tended to be more detached or reserved during conventional class. Some reported watching Peppa Pig outside of class. This five-minute program appears to be a more manageable language input than full-length feature films. Videos have a compelling power in the language classroom, especially when the classroom activities are concentrated on short sequences. Students are usually exposed to videos or audio content that are created for language learning with an unnaturally low rate of speech and contrived plots. 
the relatively low rate of speech in young children's cartoons empower the students, as they can understand the majority of the dialogues and humorous situations, while learning new vocabulary and expressions through context. Humorous language play may support the acquisition of L2 vocabulary and semantic fields, especially by allowing lexical items to be processed more deeply, making them more memorable. The pedagogical value of video cartoons as an authentic source of L2 input is anecdotal and needs further investigation. Research should focus on quantifying the rate of new words acquired and surveying a larger sample of students.